Hey guys, it's Preston and Krista. We are two people who live here in New York City who love to eat, travel, and create memorable experiences. And we're extremely excited to share with you the second video in our Hawaii itinerary challenge series that takes place in Kauai. So if you're watching this for the first time, whenever we travel, we tend to pack and cram as many things as we can in one trip. So we thought it'd be a fun experience to document it for you all. And for this itinerary, we have planned 45 different things that we're gonna to try to do in four days. If you wanna see each of the things we have planned, check out the description box below. So in this video, let's see how well we were actually able to do in this challenge. And with that being said, should we check out and see how we've done? I'm ready. Let's do it. So after waking up at 3 in the morning to get on a flight from Oahu to Hawaii or a second island, we're tired, we're hungry, so to kick off our journey, we are here at Rainbow Joe's to get some coffee and get fired up for our trip. Check it out. Hailing from the Pacific Northwest, a lovely couple named Bo and Joe created this really popular food truck that serves specialty award-winning coffee and local organic food and pastries. And don't be surprised if they encourage you to hula hoop while you're waiting for your order. I think what I ordered is called a liquid latte, uh, mixed with very creamy macadamia nut milk and topped with maple syrup. Uh, sounds and smells amazing. Tastes awesome. I'm delirious. I need a little bit of extra kick, so I got a coffee date shake. Wow, this is exactly what I needed to wake me up. This accessible and magical waterfall is steeped in legend of ancient Hawaiian daredevils testing their mettle by cliff diving 80 feet into the shallow 30 foot pool below. So right now we're at Lingate Farms where they grow chocolate. Or rather they produce chocolate and they grow chocolate trees. So we're gonna go over to the orchard and see the trees with the little cocoa pods. And then afterwards, we'll taste some chocolate and see if we can buy some. Wow. Is this our first time to Koi? Yes, first time. <laughs> wow, exciting. So we're here at Nick's Tamal Kauai, and what they're known for are tamales. Wow, this salsa, it is hot. On to the next one. Is our chicken tamale. Now, there are chickens just roaming around all over this place. It's actually a rooster who's eyeing me right now. Add the habanero salsa. <laughs> you see other cars. We made it. We had a couple of close calls there. We thought we were going to the beach. Uh, we ended up at a random path that wasn't even on Google Maps. I don't know why Google took us there, but we got stuck. The car wouldn't move. It was stuck in neutral. But worst case scenario, uh, it was really, really muddy and kind of freaking out a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Our poor little Jeep is covered in mud as you can see, uh, but happy to be alive. I'm gonna check this beach out. Kahili Beach, also known as Rock Quarry Beach, derives its name from a nearby abandoned rock quarry and is ideal for novice surfers in the summer months with its gentler waves. Uh, I don't think it's open. Ugh. We really wanted to get some fresh fruit from Banana Joe's fruit stand, but it's shut down. At this beautiful lookout, you'll be able to admire the lush green fields of taro, a starchy Hawaiian food staple. Afterward, you can then make your way to the charming surfer town of Hanalei, which is known for its art galleries, beautiful beaches, and good food.
What juice are you getting? It's a hot day today, yeah? It's scorching, it's so hot. It's uh, 89 degrees right now. 89 degrees, gotta get hydrated. And I'm wearing leggings. And you're wearing leggings. This is so refreshing. If you're in Hanalei craving something sweet, make sure you check out Hanalei Bread Company to sample their extensive breads and pastries. One of our favorites was actually this moist and fluffy cake made of rice flour, which melts with every bite. I think this will play. Oh Who did this to you? Oh my god! Oh. We made it to Hanalei Bay! Beautiful beach! Behind me, you can see this gorgeous landmass that inspired Puff the Magic Dragon. This beach is a popular spot for windsurfing, swimming, and snorkeling. You can even spot the Hawaiian sea fish, Huma Huma Nuku Nuku Apua. Oh my god, that feels so good. <laughs> it looks like you're pooping. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. We are in a mini beach. Nope. We are at a nini beach. Is that right? Yes, that's right. A nini beach. So we're actually in our car right now to have dinner. It's 6.51, as you can see from the clock here. Um, and behind me, you can see Foodland, which someone told us to go check out. It's a grocery store. And the reason why we're there is that apparently they sell pretty awesome, high quality poke. Now I'm from New York, Chris is from New York. Uh, we know that poke has started um, a while ago, massive trend, everyone loves it out there. Never really got too excited about it, but ever since we got here and we tried a couple poke places, we love it and we're obsessed. So let's check this out. We have three different kinds, salmon, two tuna ones, avocado, and some veggies. Uh, this looks awesome. So let me take our first bite here. That's awesome. Word on the street is that your coffee is good here. The best. As we're at Ishihara Market uh, here in Kauai before a hike. Uh, apparently this is supposed to have some of the best poke on the island. Also got a Hawaiian plate special, so pretty excited to have that and carb up and food up before. Uh, but check this out. We got a mixture of tuna poke. This stuff is good. Oh yeah. See that? Let's try this. Hawaiian poke. So I think we got a kalua pork, which is like a shredded steamed pork here with some rice. Three, two, one. There's the pork, got some glass noodles, and I guess mac and cheese. It's odd, it looks like octopus. Let's try, let's try, let's try, let's try, let's try. Right mm. Awesome. To get to our first hike in Kauai, we drove about 4,000 feet in elevation on the iconic Waimea Canyon Drive, also known as Route 550. Make sure you have plenty of gas for the 36 miles round trip, as there's no place to fuel up in the state park. <laughs> Alright, we are at the entrance of Nuolo or Nuopolo Trail up here in the Waimea Canyons. First hike over Hawaii trip. Um, Napoli closed coast unfortunately is closed off so we can uh, check those hikes out but we actually heard a lot of great things about this one it's about three four miles uh, should take about three four hours round trip and uh, ate some breakfast got some coffee got some smoothies feeling good so let's see what's in store for us so 
See you guys soon. Let's go. <laughs> After walking through shaded forests and overgrown vegetation, this challenging trail will take you also on multiple ascents and descents from 3,800 to 2,200 feet. Also, do take caution and watch your step as you will frequently hike on a narrow path at the cliff's edge. It all becomes worth it with an epic view of the new Ololo Valley below. Oh shoot, it's raining! Guys, we made it. We're at the edge of the world. Behind me, literally cliffs all the way down. It's kind of nerve-wracking, but if, when, if you can see right behind me over there, the view is absolutely gorgeous. Um, a little bit scary. It's starting to rain. The winds are picking up. And if you look down, like this is not the most stable ground. So we need to actually get out of here ASAP, but I'm glad that we made it. Um, it wasn't a three and a half mile hike. It was actually a seven mile hike. We're exhausted. Gonna go to the bathroom real quick, get, get some water and get out of here. So. We made it. Ciao. Hunted. Gotta get out of here. I'm exhausted. Don't know how we're gonna get back. There's a little bit more left to go. And then we can drink more water in the car. Okay, let's do it. Oh. <sighs> After that unexpected seven mile oh. trek, we've never been oh more gosh. pleased to finish a hike. Four and a half hours, 8.29 miles. Uh. If you're in Kauai on a Friday night, make sure you experience the art walk in the historical town of Hanapepe, where since 1997, the main street comes alive with art vendors, live music, and fantastic food. While you're there in Hanapepe, also check out Midnight Bear Breads Bakery and Cafe. They use organic ingredients in their artisan breads, various pizzas, and delightfully decadent pastries. Hey, what you got there, Kay? What? Some macadamia nut cinnamon swirl. Macadamia sw cinnamon swirl? Voted as one of the best local restaurants, Porky's keeps it simple by just serving three dishes. Make sure you check out their famous Kalua pork pineapple sausage, aka their aloha in a bun. Mm. <laughs> That's delicious, so many flavors. Bun is perfect. Now it's mine. Bye bye. Made it to Waimea Canyon, which is the Grand Canyon of Hawaii. Check out behind me. Literally, nothing else needs to be said. Absolutely gorgeous, rolling mountains, lush greenery that goes on and on and on and on and on and on here in Hawaii. Waimea Canyon is 10 miles long, one mile wide, and more than 3,500 feet deep. We then took a break from the sights and the heat to feast on delicious and juicy fresh fruits. Wow, it tastes like a strawberry kiwi. Mmm, it's pretty tart. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think? Oh my god. It's a little bit dangerous climbing up the edge of the cliff, but the views are phenomenal. The payout is nice. At this lookout, take a moment to appreciate the majestic beauty of the Kelalao Valley, which is one of the most photographed valleys in all of Hawaii. Oh yes, all muddy. Oh wow, the edge is right here, so you gotta be careful. Wow, don't run here, that was dangerous. <laughs> this is so beautiful. We did it. 2.25 miles, 86 minutes. Shoot again? Yeah, definitely. At Hamura's, we tried a local favorite, Simon, which is an inexpensive noodle and broth soup that was inspired by Japanese, Chinese, and Filipino food dishes. Here we go. Look at this guy. She's in. I'm in. If you found yourself falling in love with the lush beauty of Kauai while on the ground, wait until you experience the grandeur of the Garden Island from the air. On a one hour tour, you can see incredible sights like Waimea Canyon, Napoli Coast, and numerous cascades of waterfalls. For another mesmerizing experience, take a boat out to come up close to the towering cliffs of the Napoli coast and even admire the local marine life. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're the man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Last one, media. Boom. One more. Beach. Named after an old wooden ship that sank off the coast, this beach is popular for cliff diving and advanced surfing from its strong shore break. Voted the number one beach in America by the Travel Channel, Poipu Beach has two distinct areas. The area to the left with the shallow waters is perfect for families and kids, while the area to the right is perfect for boogie boarding with its small waves. Even in the kiddie section, there are plenty of adults like us wading in the shallow waters. Being a surfish. <laughs> Back to the hotel room, showering up, feeling like normal people before dinner. It's our last night here. Gonna make it count, gonna have an incredible date night, and we'll see you guys later tonight. And then our next stop is Maui, so Hawaii adventure continues. See you there. Finally, if you're craving some high quality Hawaiian fusion food, check out this fantastic family-owned restaurant that serves absolutely delicious food and mouth-watering desserts. 
If you go there, make sure you tell them that Preston and Krista from New York says hi. Whoa. The meat just fell off the bone. It's like comfort food. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty spicy. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. This is so good. I wish we were staying longer so I can try more of their dishes. The moment is finally here where we can review how well we've done in our itinerary challenge in Kauai. So out of 45 things we originally planned, we only did 23 of them, bringing our overall score to only 51% but we actually ended up adding seven more things to the list, bringing our grand total to 30 activities completed in four days. If you want to see the actual itinerary that we ended up doing, check out the description box below. While the whole trip has been truly amazing, there were a handful of things that we loved. Things like the epic hikes on Waimea, the vibrant art scene in Hanapepe, or even the jaw-dropping views of Napoli Coast. And if you're actually curious as to why we picked out some of these things, please subscribe and stay posted for future videos. And while we want to explore more of the North Shore and do things like hike the Kalalau Trail, visit the spectacular Ka and Lumahai Beach, and also check out the Limuhali Botanical Gardens, unfortunately due to the landslide that occurred earlier in April this year, those places were closed off to visitors. So for your future travels to Kauai, make sure you check out the state parks and beaches websites so you're aware of any closures that are taking place. If you love this video, we'd love to hear from you as well. Please comment below, let us know some of the places you've been to and you love in Kauai or things you're inspired to do on your future trip. And if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell button so you're notified when the latest video drops and you can see more of this guy. Thanks again for tagging along with us on this Kauai adventure and we will see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye -bye. He's sleeping. He's sleeping.